California is one of the most dysfunctional places to live in America. Their residents have now decided that they don't even want to be part of the United States anymore. According to the Sacramento Bee, California is currently putting a ballot measure through that would help allow them to secede from the union. They need 585,000 signatures to get it considered, and they are working hard to achieve that goal. There is something seriously wrong with Californians. The Golden State is working on this move for no apparent reason. We know that they hate President Trump with a fiery passion, and they don't even have sensible reasons for hating him so much. If we had to guess, we would say it would have to do with their leftist representation, such as reps. Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters. These two people alone preach pure hatred. We find it odd that Waters can be so upset when she is a millionaire and living in a $4 million home. Despite being rich beyond the average person's wildest dreams, Waters still believes that she is a poor, oppressed black woman. It is unbelievable how hard she pushes the victim complex. The left has this mentality that they are morally superior to everyone, and if you disagree with them, you are probably a racist, bigot, and or a white male. We cannot wrap our minds around their thought process. Our nation used to have civil debates where people discussed ideas. We were free thinkers, and people tried to understand other people's thoughts, even if they didn't agree with them. Now, California is having none of that, and the people there are seeking the ultimate safe space, their own country. How intolerant do you have to be to want to be your own independent country because other people don't think the way you do? There is no pleasing the left. They don't want to work together in unison, they want full superiority. If they don't have complete control, they accuse and blame people, branding them with hateful labels. It's pathetic. Let's not forget, the people in California love trampling on our freedom of speech. Remember at UCLA Berkeley when Milo Yiannopoulos was prevented from speaking due to rioters? They did the same thing to Ann Coulter, Gavin McInnes, and they are trying to stop Ben Shapiro from speaking on September 14, 2017. The close-minded people in California are going to pay for their reckless behavior. There is going to come a time when they are overrun by illegal immigrants, broke, and clueless on what to do next. It is going to be one of those brilliant, we told you so, moments. Even after all of that happens, they are still not going to listen. What do you think about this comment below? Mm -hmm.